A little bit of drama in the prop trading world, guys. There are prop firms popping up all over the place. So many, in fact, that I'm actually considering making one of an engineering background. I've been trading prop firms for a while, but that's neither here nor there. What I want to talk about is another firm that's popped up. It's going to be a review of my funded futures, uh, how I feel about some of their rules and why I think they might be worth you giving them a look. For those of you that are new here, my name's Forrest. I invest in stuff. I am a futures trader. I've been trading, day trading for about four or five years and trading in general uh, longer than that. I still trade options and other stuff. Also run a premium Discord group. We don't give signals. We only teach people how to trade. So if you're serious about learning how to trade and really learning how to fish for yourself, that's the style of Discord that we run. So feel free to join. We have a seven day free trial. I also created a free journal journaling, keeping track of your trade performance and your setups and those outcomes is key to improving as a trader. So I have a free template. It's exactly free. There's no catch or gotcha there. It's the one link there, wap.com slash trade edge. The one link is for the premium Discord, which has a seven day free trial. And the other link is just for the journal, which is done notion i love notion should set up an affiliate with them i love that product i use it for my entire life but all of that being said let's talk about my funded futures and see if they're actually worth using they're one of the new kids on the block and they've been going after some of the existing prop firms uh one of them that i love apex trader funding it's a little bit of drama there's a rumor uh, out there in the uh, discord world basically saying that apex was gonna stop doing the 20 pas only go to three a bunch of other stuff so they've been stirring up some drama but let's see how legit they are on their own so this isn't going to be, you know, a disqualification of them or anything like that. I've actually disclaimer. I've got two of their accounts. I'm going to try them out for myself and see how they are. I'm going to use a trade copier. What's cool is that you can actually just get a Ninja account directly. So it works with the trade copier. So I have my Apex accounts and these accounts. We're going to try them out. But let's hop into the website and take a look at what they have to say. Cool. So myfundedfutures.com. Here we are. Very first thing we see here on the page says we can manage up to 600K in simulated capital. Does that really matter? With all these prop firms, guys, and a lot of it's marketing, right? Even see some of my links that says, oh, I have a million dollars in capital. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is your drawdown and leverage, okay? So you get a hundred, let's say you get a hundred K account, hundred thousand dollars. You're not getting a hundred thousand dollars because if the number of the money mattered, then it, they'd be the leverage or the margin would be uh, tied to like a real account. For example, one NQ in a real account, you need $18,500 of capital or yes, it's 12,500. These accounts, it's nothing like that, right? There's throw a number on there to, to make people feel good. But nonetheless, let's see what they say so we'll scroll down here oh my laptop just exploded uh-oh oh wow my mac actually died i was on their website my funded futures killed my laptop so we're gonna let this restart and see what happens hold please my mac has actually never crashed i may have left something open i've been working on a custom bot for the discord uh, which does a little bit of options analysis and things like that again i am a software engineer by trade I don't do it for work anymore but i do use it for my own stuff for making money so that's cool Get rid of Visual Studio, we'll get rid of all these apps. And we're going back. Okay, so we just talked about the simulated capital. Let's see what they offer here. So we're here to give you the freedom trade futures without risking your own capital. 150,000 evaluations taken, 50,000 active traders. That's a lot of traders, 15 million plus in total payouts. I don't know if there's a way to validate that. Let's look at the plans that they have. I do like the navigation here. Website so far, nine out of 10. I really like the website. It's well made out the gate. There aren't a ton of links, very easy to parse. Web design, it's important guys. It's important, nine out of 10. So they have the $50,000 account, $100,000 account, $150,000 account. Let's start with the $50,000 account. Uh, as you know, Apex is, $50,000 account. It's my favorite account. Again, it's not really 50K. You're getting $2,500 of trailing on theirs. On the My Fund and Futures, let's take a look. So the profit target is 3000 on this, what they're calling a starter. You get five contracts, which is less. You get 10 contracts on Apex. Daily loss limit, none. Trailing max drawdown, 2K. Drawdown mode is end of day. So your minimum account balance will move up at the end of the day if your account equity increases throughout the day. So this is cool. They have an end of day trailing drawdown, which I do prefer over the intraday trailing drawdown. If you're confused about what a trailing drawdown is, intraday, that means that it moves with you. So if as say my, my, I'm at zero, this is my trailing. As my profits go up, it trails. Okay. That's I'm not going to do the numbers again. I have so many videos talking about the trailing drawdown. Go look at my channel if you want an explanation. The end of day is the opposite. That means so profits go up and down. Boom, 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 boom. Day end. Boom, 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 boom. Day end. Boom. It trails at the end of the day. I like that because it means intraday, you aren't punished in real time for egregious trades. You still should manage your risk. I've done so many videos talking about why it's easy to pass these firms trading smaller. You only need one contract to pass in most cases. You don't need to trade max leverage. I'm telling you from experience, I've done it so many times. I've passed so many of these. You only need one contract to pass. 
if you're max levering up and trying to get like three ticks stuff like that because you're a bad trader anyways the expert i'm not really sure what the difference between the starter and the expert is at this point uh, profit target four thousand max position five contracts still wish there was more leverage here daily loss limit none trailing max max drawdown is the same drawdown mode in a day there's no activation fee and the, the reset fee is higher they also have this scaling rule not really sure about what the scaling rule is let's take a look at that uh, we'll take a look at those in a, in a minute i'm sure that yeah, it's just different leverage for these accounts so for the 100k get 10 contracts 10 contracts profit target is 6,000. for the 150k profit target 9,000. oh it's a little bit different so profit target three and four for the 100k it's 6,000, then 8,000. but for the 150k it's 9,000, 12,000. 15 contracts though now i think the best value is this 150k because you get 15 contracts profit targets 12,000 in a day is 4,500. there's no activation fee and if i was going to just get one account here i get the 375 dollar one this expert 150k why well because i already did i got two of them uh, so we're gonna try it out this week i uh, got two of these I haven't used these guys i don't know how solid they are on their payouts or anything like that so this is purely a review of what they're offering right now because i just bought the accounts on friday haven't traded them yet so i'll do an update video as i trade them throughout the week see if we can pass these figure out my strategy Strategy. I might just trade them normally with my other accounts where I might um, try and pass them quickly as well. I think the minimum trading days, let's see here, profit target, trailing max drawdown they're saying is a little bit different. Activation fee starter only, you know, this whole starter between expert, this is a classic product offer dichotomy. You basically offer something that's not desirable and then you funnel people into an upsell of an obviously better option. Okay. So the expert's obviously better, no activation fee. The cost here between $300 a month, $375 a month. You pass expert is cheaper unless you try to reset it but why would you reset it just buy another one there's also no scaling rule which um should mean i haven't looked at it yet which should mean that you have access to all of your leverage out the gate scaling normally like top step has a scaling rule top step you have to hit like certain profit to access more of your leverage which is stupid and one of the reasons i don't like top step top step's a great company tons of people use them i don't use them i don't like them love by traders worldwide cool Cool, cool, cool. The other thing that I can tell you that I do like about them because I try this out is that they give you an actual Ninja Trader account, at least in the email. I haven't passed it yet because I just got the account, but I logged in and you can actually just log in with Ninja Trader, which is nice because I trade with the Ninja Trader broker and I can use Replicano here across Apex and this. So there's no conflict with Rhythmic. You can only have one Rhythmic account active at a time. So if you, if you log in with our trader, if you get our trader account here, which I don't recommend, there would be a collision there on the back end. The other thing is you can also log into Tradevate with the Ninja account. These are the same company. So I could get a Ninja account account, copy trade, trade on, trade of eight, super flexible. Trading view is another really cool option. I almost did the trading view option. I'm not sure what the back end is for that. I didn't feel like spending time to look. I'm going to be honest. I got an trader because I knew it would work. It's like, that makes sense. Trading view. I always have my I chart on trading view anyways. Doing order entry and execution on trading view is okay. There is, I, I don't like that I can't do all of my bracket orders that are already set up the way that I like them directly on trading view. But again, I have my charts on trading view anyway. And most of my entries are based off of what I'm seeing on trading view. So I love trading view as an option. So that'll probably be my second option. Ninja Trader, Trading View, Rhythmic. I just I wouldn't use Rhythmic. I would go with one of the broker options. If you use R Trader, you're gonna have to use something else on the front end, most likely, or you already are. And it's just another layer. Sierra and Quant Tower, I haven't used. I do know some people who use Sierra charts, so that's probably fine. I just don't use those tools. I've heard really good things about Sierra charts, uh, actually. Quant Tower is a black hole to me. No, no idea about it. I'm sure, it's fine. Ultimately, what you use on the front end doesn't matter as long as you have mastery and execution of your platform, know how to do bracket orders, all the things, manage your stops, blah, 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 all those things, right? So, so you have Discord, which is cool. Most of these prop from Discords are an abyss of stupidity, so not going to join that. <laughs> I've looked at some of them guys and I'm telling you not where the smart traders are their affiliate program probably will set this up give them a little bit more time we'll set it up maybe by the time this video is out I've set up an affiliate account so if you want to get an account with uh, my funded futures go ahead and use my affiliate code help the channel out highly appreciate it uh, as well set up your own right if you have a platform or something like that if you end up using them I highly recommend setting up an affiliate with any of the tools that you use guys it just makes good business sense you know double dip on the things that you like cool nice little affiliate breakdown we're not going to do an affiliate breakdown so that's really it uh, looks like their affiliate page is on a different url though because i can't go back or maybe i can go back with this cool actually let me i need to find the rules here i want to see what the actual rules are uh, let's go to the faq monthly membership getting started traders evaluation scaling plan let's see what the scaling plan is 
So yeah, it's based off of profit. So very similar to top step, right? As you make more money, you get access to more contracts. So it goes from two to five as you make more profit. Don't waste your time with that. Just get the expert. I know it's more guys. If you're going to get leverage then get the leverage, my fund and futures probably likes that I'm saying this. I'm just telling you, it's going to save you more, more time and headache later. And the, the actual nominal value, the cost to you as an end user between the starter and the, the expert is tens of dollars. So you might as well just go for the account that gives you more flexibility ultimately these companies and i say this as somebody who uses prop firms and has been for a while now they make money when you fail and the reason people fail is because of all the psychological limits that are added right so the trailing the scaling end a day the intraday all of these things not being able to trade in news like all of these things are things that you don't have to think about when you trade a regular account straight up don't have to think about any of that stuff when i trade my personal account i trade the news i don't trade the news i scale in i scale out i can go in a trade and say oh i really really like this trade as an ace setup and my normal trade side is well one in Q and I'll do a 10 in Q trade for five points, scale back down to two contracts, hold those as a runner, take another one off after 10 more points and hold the one in Q for the rest of the trade. So I can smash into these big trades like this. However, I want to on a personal account. If you were trying to do that on one of these accounts, you're gonna be like, well, if it goes against me for seven points, then I got to It's a headache. And that's why people blow up. So the way that you get around that is just by trading small risk, but you still want the leverage on the back end. You want to be able to, as you build up your account value, use the leverage, get the account with the best leverage. Hopefully that makes sense, but get the expert account. Cool. So that's there. Let's see what else. The scaling plan, max end of day trailing. Let's see if there's anything here. Here at My Fund and Futures, we wanted to eliminate the daily drawdown so their traders could relax without having to worry about the constant drawdowns affecting their accounts and mindsets. We do not have a daily drawdown, but we have a max end of day drawdown, which would be set at 3%. Also to be noted that max end of day trailing locks in at $100 plus the initial starting balance. So similar to other firms, 50K is 52K plus $100, which is 52.1K. 50K accounts have 4% daily drawdown. 100K is that. 150K is that. So I'm curious curious if this is just for eval right or if they're capping you on drawdown afterwards that's something i'll have to figure out um so they have this diagram here which explains probably the equity you can crest for a payout only three percent or less which is initially allowed drawdown on your account in this case three percent of 100k is 3k Okay, press for a full payout, but it will result in accounts termination. So when your account balance is at the end of the day reaches 3% plus $100, your end of the day drawdown will be locked at initial balance and will not trail anymore. So just like Apex, you can do a max withdrawal, which will take all the money that you've earned out the account, but it'll it'll kill the account. So that's basically if you want to just get in and out and realize your profits immediately, this option is there for you. It will terminate the account. Then you can do another cycle, which is fine. A lot of people trade them like that. Basically, you're not locked in. You want to realize the money that you've traded to, to earn, which is totally fine. Consistency rules. There is no consistency rule in the challenge phase. However, in the simulated fund stage, there's a 40% consistency rule. Also, there's no consistency rule on the expert plans. Another reason to get the expert plan. You cannot withdraw any of your profits if any of the trading days is made equal or greater than 40% of total profits. So what should traders do if they make more than 40% of the total profits in one day? If you make a total of $10,000 in sim profits in one day and you've made $4,500, which is beyond the 40% rule, then you must continue trading. So another reason to get the expert account is there's no consistency rule on expert plans. So that's another reason to get the expert plan. They basically, again, are funneling you into the expert plan. It does cost more. It's a great option. And honestly, there is a slight edge there on Apex in terms of just flexibility and not having that rule. So upfront, I don't like that, you know, you they have less leverage. Um, it's higher cost. It's higher cost for sure. But they do have a little bit of edge there on, on the back end, which is fine. All these prop firms are ultimately giving you options. I would still recommend Apex just for the fact that you can get a 50K account, which is really a $2,500 account for $16 when they do a one-day sell. They have an 80% and a 71% sale very often. It means you're getting in for like $30 or $40, which is still amazing amount of leverage. To put that into perspective, for $40, you're getting 10 contracts. If you want to do 10 contracts of ES, again, it's $12,500 of your own money that you would have to have. So again, it's an amazing deal at really any price. Totally worth getting. This one is a couple hundred dollars. I haven't seen them do any sales. They might do a sale, which would change that math. Haven't seen it yet. So this is me reviewing it as it is today. Let's look at prohibited trading practices. So automated trading protocols. Can't do any automated scalping, blah, 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 blah. Order management, market conduct. Simultaneously placing multiple limit orders at the same price to manipulate order fields is prohibited. They didn't know people were doing that. Gapped or liquid market trading. Okay, slippage and bracket uses. 
Okay, all right, that one's a little, I'm sure they're going to force slippage and bracket usage there. A little silly. If you're getting bid at entries, but like two or three points due to like slippage and stuff like that, I guess they're looking for out, outlier scenarios in that case. Not sure. Plans with CME group rules, all trading activities must adhere to CME group rules and regulations. You don't know what those are. So there are some things like you can't straddle the market technically. So those are things that matter. And when you do your taxes, you'll find out why they matter. Collaborative trading, collaborating with others to execute identical or opposite strategies across unconnected accounts is prohibited. This is one of those good luck rules. You know, this is not something that I do. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. A lot of these rules, like these games that people play and there are strategies. I've heard everything, by the way, I've heard every strategy to try to milk these systems. If you're lucky, it might work one. You will make infinitely more. And I do mean infinitely more money by learning how to be a good trader. So if you want to risk your account and your cost trying to do some game where you straddle across Apex, my funded futures and went on one side, it's going to work one time, but then you're probably going to hit the consistency rule. And then you're going to have to figure out a way to actually get that money out by trading for real, which means you just wasted a bunch of effort to make a bunch of simulated dollars that you can't extract because you don't know how to trade. So I think the rule's kind of silly just because they can't enforce it, but it's also silly if you try to break it because you're not going to, you're not going to win trying to game the system guys. The market is a beast. And so unless you learn how to tame it, you're, you're not going to make money uh, trading termination policies and violation consequences. Is. They reserve the right to terminate agreements immediately for any reason. That's fair. Profits generated from prohibited trading practices will be confiscated. All past evaluations are subject to review. And traders found guilty if policy ignorance or abuse will not be funded. Totally fair. So just like any company, they're a business. If you push the rules, stretch the rules, very often what I found, most of these companies, Apex is pretty good about this. I'm sure they're fine about it. If you accidentally do something, they don't they don't care about that, right? If you accidentally make a thousand more dollars, they honestly don't care. You have to think about these guys are paying out people based off of trade performance. And if your average payout is 30K a month, and then you randomly have a 700,000 a month, they're going to look at that and they're going to figure out why. Did you just increase your leverage and have the exact same system? That's still crazy, but more reasonable if you just change your system. Because that means the next month after that, you're probably going to have another 700K month. And that's just going to be your average performance. Or did you try to game the system, gamble on a news event, something like that, and where you're now you're trying to use them as a slot machine. None of them want to be used as a slot machine because it's hard for them to project their PLs, right? Or their 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 outgoing cash flows going forward. There's a whole game of looking at their future liabilities based off of traded performance that they do. They're doing a ton of analytics on the data and all their traders are trying to figure out, okay, what are our payouts? What are, what are our liabilities going to be for the next three or four months as people come in according to our cash inflows? They're a business. They are a business. A lot of people get up in arms about it. If you don't want to deal with all the rules, guys, you can just build your own account, which is totally possible. You can just do it the plain old fashioned way, which is something I still do. I use my personal account as my leader in my trade copier every single day. Something that I recommend, trade with your own account. If you don't like it, trade with your own account. There's some rules that are BS 100%. There's some rules that are super cool 100% but you literally don't have to do it there are firms like trade and ninja which give you broken intraday leverage anyways like you can trade one contract with a thousand dollars one es or one in q with a thousand dollars which you're not even supposed to be able to do but they're putting you on like a sim sim thing and then the margin changes back to normal after settlement so there are options there's so much flexibility in the market today for you as a trader and if you actually learn how to trade you can leverage them all if you don't know how to actually trade i promise you i absolutely promise you as somebody who runs a discord and i've seen people try i've seen it all guys i'm telling you i am telling you i have seen it all fail you will waste your money i, I haven't seen a single person game the system successfully I'm just gonna throw that out there my years of doing it and it's, it's not for lack of trying i'm a smart guy I've, I've thought about it but it's just one it's not worth the time and effort fun little exercise and you'll make way more money you know just trading for real like i've had made hundreds of thousands of dollars more than that just trading for real so focus on that anyways whew, that was a really long tangent there my fund and futures i give them an eight out of ten they only give you three accounts total by the way right so apex gives you 20 so i would do the expert 150k account which gives you 45 contracts of leverage so even though you have three accounts you still get access to 45 contracts which is a lot in the grand scheme of things even just looking at them in isolation if you got all three accounts that's a lot of leverage that's a ton of money that you can make being a consistent trader so we're gonna see how they work again i just bought the accounts on friday which was february 9th i believe let's actually look today's the 11th i'm filming this video on the 11th the 9th so by the time this video comes out it'll probably be like thursday or something point is as of filming i haven't traded the accounts yet haven't got a payout yet I, I don't know anybody's got a payout yet because people in my discord we just became aware of this firm i'm aware of a lot of firms the primary reason i don't trade too many other firms is because of the trade copy i'm not going to do multiple order entries just not worth the time best way to make money as a trader is trade in a flow state peace of mind if you're trying to get in and out of multiple brokers and all this it's just it's honestly going to subtract from your profits whatever profit you think you're going to make you're, you're not going to make them so that's it give them an eight out of ten 
Try them out. Let me know what you guys think. Use my code below if you want to sign up for Apex and get their discount. If you want to sign up for my phone and futures, and I have the link by the time this video comes out, hit that link below as well. Help out the channel. I appreciate it. If you want to learn how to trade, please join the Discord. Do not be afraid to hit me up in the DMs. Shoot me DMs on Instagram going to try that out. I'm also thinking about doing like a group kind of coaching section session thing. I have a lot of people asking me for one-on-ones. I don't have the time for that, guys. Honestly, there isn't an amount that I could charge that would make me want to give up my personal time on the weekends. And I'm trading every day during the week. So there's, there's just not time there. But I will, I am willing to do some type of group thing where we I track your performance, coach everyone. But there's going to be a lot of ask for me to do that because it's a waste of my time if, if people aren't tracking their trades and actually showing up as, as good students. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing things. How doing them but neither here nor there i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and every other video guys i'm super passionate about helping people i love doing this which is why i do it I certainly don't have to but i just love doing it I love interacting with people i love seeing people's wins and their success stories people who are doing okay like doing awesome and getting consistent payouts like i love it guys i realized a long time ago that one of my favorite things about my life is getting other people excited and watching them win even selfishly it's not a self-righteous thing uh, and that's something i encourage I try to encourage everybody to do but i'll get off my soapbox subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram a lot of you have been following me on instagram follow me on instagram i guess uh join the discord and see you in the next video peace <laughs>